Hi, I'm Chadon Mo, and uh, this is a small review of Sigeant uh, SDS uh, 1102DL uh, digital storage oscilloscope. It's uh, a affordable oscilloscope, it costs uh, little less than uh, 300 euros. And in this video, I'll show you uh, some of its features and uh, a basic review of uh, the quality of um, the observation of the, of the signals and the functionality of this oscilloscope. The package in which the oscilloscope arrived included two probes uh, and uh, some power cord, which uh, unfortunately was uh, for British uh, electric network, but uh, it cost uh, about a euro and that's not a problem. And this is the oscilloscope itself. As you can see, it's quite uh, small, portable, and weighs uh, about 2 kilos, no less. Yeah, it's two channel uh, oscilloscope, uh, maximum input frequency is 100 MHz, and uh, it's uh, 500 samples per second. Uh, and it has a digital trigger, uh, USB uh, memory can be attached to it, and you can store uh, your observations directly on the USB device. Well, I powered the oscilloscope up, and as you can see, it has a very nice large 7-inch LCD screen. It's uh, 320 by 280. I'm not sure exactly how, but it's a very nice uh, screen, and both channels are activated, and you can very easily see the quality of the display. Change its color from the angles. So you can work uh, with this oscilloscope from different angles and I'll show you some basic design options. Well, you can change the intensity of the um, signals and the brightness of the screen. You can also change the format, X, Y and uh, uh, signal by time. You can change the grid and you can change the theme in which uh, the screen works. There are all kinds of designs, as you can see. Green. You can suit it for your needs if you don't like uh, the spe specific colors. Here are some other um, options to change, like sound and language. You can uh, choose the device which you um, setting up, set up as an output. And you can upgrade the firmware. The next function is save or recall function. In this uh, menu you can save the uh, oscillograms or you can save uh, the uh, settings of, of the oscilloscope like the uh, screen intensity, the trigger settings and uh, the theme setting and all kinds of settings. And there is internal memory for 20 of those settings. Uh, the digital cursors are very easy to use, and when the cursor is activated, uh, the measurements are shown here. And I change the first cursor, and then the second one. It's out of the screen, as you can see. You can measure the frequency, the period of some wave, and you can also uh, change the channel on which it measures, channel 2 and channel 1. And you can measure uh, frequency, or the time domain, or uh, voltage levels. The voltage division knobs are very nice. They're not uh, very soft, but uh, they're, they're very easy to use. When, uh, two channels are activated. The maximum uh, uh, resolution is uh, 250 megasamples per second, but when a single channel is activated, it's 500 megasamples per second. And now uh, the triggers. Trigger menu, you can set all kinds of triggers here. And uh, there is also an external trigger, but uh, I haven't tested it yet because I have this oscilloscope uh, for a month now and I'm very busy in studies and I haven't uh, used it a lot. Uh, the package also included a lot, uh, a bunch of these uh, Cover and rings and two uh, compensation uh, screwdrivers. And here is an external 1 kilohertz uh, sine wave generator. 
and oh, excuse me and you can compensate the capacitance of the probe oh, excuse me uh, yeah. okay I prefer uh, compensating the probe in in the times 10 uh, division when you uh, re reduce the signal for 10 times or increase the probe's input uh, resistance and as you can see okay it's hard to see there and changing the capacitance of the probe you can uh, compensate the probe very <coughs> very easily here is a small circuit I built. Uh, <coughs> it's a 27 megahertz AM transmitter, and we will see the uh, main frequency or the base frequency in the oscilloscope, and you will see how actually precise this oscilloscope is. Let's power this transmitter on, and hopefully I'll be able to film and measure in the same time it's quite hard okay i managed to uh, grab the uh, output of the on crystal oscillator with this nice claw which both probes have has and let's see what do we get in the oscilloscope we have very high frequency signal this is the here's the trigger okay and using the okay as you can see we have some noise in the signal because my soldering isn't as good as it should be. But let's measure the signal. Measure the frequency of this sine wave. But from one maximum to the other, as you can see, it's about 27 megahertz, and the auto frequency counter says 26.999, which is almost exact, exactly 27 megahertz so you can see working with uh, low frequency relatively low, low frequency waves is very easy with this very easy with this oscilloscope now we will attach a usb device and capture the signal yes usb device has been detected and let's press the print key uh, I, previously I set the output device a USB, but you can also insert a printer via USB, but this is a USB output device. And it saves the image. Save, restored. And the last feature, which is very, very nice, and I really like it, is the stop button. As the uh, name suggests, it's a digital storage oscilloscope. It means you can now uh, see the uh, signal which is saved in the digital memory and you don't have to uh, use the target device all the time to capture the signals. For example, if some of the transistors were getting pretty hot, I just capture the image and I'm able to examine it. About this digital storage oscilloscope, for uh, 280 euros i very much uh, highly recommend you because uh, i'm a student i'm not a professional electronics uh, person uh, yet and uh, the uh, nice oscilloscope like this is a very very nice and good uh, gadget for me or instrument so see you next time in some other video bye and the oscilloscope automatically created a bitmap uh, folder and in that the last image is the oscillogram we took if i zoom it in you can see it's very nice bitmap format image with no uh, smoothing or anything like that like jpeg and it's very nice for presentations or research